The dominoes keep falling as more central Iowa school districts move back to online learning. As KCCI's Chris Gothner explains, the state's teachers union says it's evidence of an out of control pandemic. Tuesday marked Des Moines High Schoolers first day back in classrooms, but their return will be short lived. The COVID spike has DMPS going back online Monday through at least the 30th. It got a waiver Tuesday. Marshalltown schools also announced plans to go online pending a waiver starting Thursday. And the Ames School District voted Tuesday to transition three elementary schools to remote learning, Edwards, Meeker and Sawyer. We are scrambling for subs for people to cover. The board will vote Wednesday whether to move all elementary and middle schoolers online. Iowa State Education Association Executive Director Mary Jane Cobb says the mounting numbers of districts going virtual is a sign community spread is out of control. They know that there's a problem with exposure. Cobb says the governor's new mitigation measures don't go far enough. The ISEA hope restrictions on gatherings of 25 or more people applied to classrooms, but they don't. I was really hopeful that we were finally going to get the direction we needed to have a statewide mandate for masks in our schools. But Governor Reynolds says she's given districts a big incentive. We worked with Dr. Um, uh, Padati and other states, and that's when we said that if everybody is wearing a mask in the classroom, then you don't have to quarantine. Cobb says the ISCA would also like to see the state lift waiver requirements. In Des Moines, Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. AIM Superintendent Jenny Reisner says the district's not looking at moving high school students fully online just yet. She says numbers at AIM's high aren't high enough to justify a waiver. Several school boards have already voted to apply to move online for all or parts of their district. Ames, Johnston, Waukee and West Des Moines are all awaiting state approval. Des Moines Public Schools will switch to remote learning next Monday. Their online learning waiver will last through the end of November.